Hey, what's going on, Chance? Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'd rather slam my nuts in a car door than to watch your sad YouTube channel. Yo uh. It is a beautiful Monday afternoon here in Central Arkansas. Excuse me while I scratch my nose. And I have a few hours with no obligations to any other human beings on Earth, so I am going to hunt. I haven't hunted for games and tech in the last two or three days, and to quote my personal hero, Major Payne, I was starting to get the itch. So I'm going to start off by going to the Braswell & Son Pawnbrokers in Bryant, Arkansas. I haven't stopped by this location in a hot minute. They don't usually have much beyond precious metals, which don't get me wrong, I love stacking metals, so they're great for that. But sometimes they also have good deals on games and movies and whatnot. So I'm gonna see if they've added anything in the last couple of months since I last visited. Oh, I see they no longer call themselves Braswell and Sons. It is Ipon. That's how long it's been. They don't change their name. It's been so long since I've been here. Well, I didn't find a blessed thing at that um, iPon, so I'm heading to Mole Standby, which is the Goodwill Outlet Center. I've been hitting the bins a lot more lately. Like normally, I'll just hit go in, hit the computer store, get out. I've been finding some good stuff in the bins lately, so I'll probably do that today. <laughs> I am in the middle of the madness. New bins have come out. Yeah, yeah. You uh, legit have to be careful in the bins. These people will not only kill you, they will snatch your soul out of your body and then go try to buy it. But because Goodwill charges by the pound and the soul don't weigh shit, they're gonna get your soul for free. All right, so so far I have made my way around the bins, haven't found a damn thing till. It's like an older computer. It computer Warehouse Inc. Dude's got a an old floppy drive, an old yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what? I gotta know if this old beast work. I gotta know. I'm gonna buy it. And I pulled the case back a little bit. It does still have the hard drive in it. I can't really tell offhand what the capacity is that said if it's got the hard drive it'll probably still have the operating system on it oh i'm excited y'all i'm super excited y'all tell me why i'm so excited about like a mid to late 90s computer to know if the best even works i just more than anything i just want to know what version of windows is on it hell it might not even be windows it may be linux i don't know Got a little bit more to wait in line, but then uh, good thing there's a Goodwill computer store here because I'm going to have to get a PS2 keyboard, a PS2 mouse. I think I've got a power cable for it. I've got a monitor at the house. I'm just, ugh, the curiosity. Now they're telling me they may not be able to sell it to me, so fingers crossed. Well, hump me running up a hill butt naked and sideways. They would not sell it to me. I guess they are worried about people's private data being on a hard drive. I don't care about any of that. I would have deleted it. I just wanted to know what all was on there. I wanted to see if there was like some old AOL and, you know, just good back in the day kind of stuff. But I am leaving here with disappointment. But I was super excited for a minute. Man. Man. But I guess on the bright side, if it didn't even work, then they saved me a few bucks. I don't know. We'll never know. That's just frustrating as hell. I feel like I have gotten the retro tech equivalent of blue ball. They tease me. They put it out there in front of me. They, they let me work up a desire for it. And then right when I get there, they snatched it away. And it's like, nope. Nope. No tech working. Nope. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. And I think I kind of understand their policy on it, but still... And as if I needed another reminder of why I call the Bryant Goodwill Greedwill, check this out. This old vintage General Electric coffee pot has a cool aesthetic. They want $30 for it. Seriously. Oh, check this out. An old microfish reader. I remember these. I used to use these in the public library as a kid. This is back before we had the internet. 
And we'd use things like this, this typewriter. And I understand supposedly there's a market for typewriters. I don't know much about them. Maybe this one could go for something inbox. All I know is I'm not fooling with it. And I guess it's office day at Bryant Goodwill because we got a whole ass copy machine in here. A Canon copy machine. I don't, yeah, whatever model. How much they want for it? $200 because of course they do. And I guess if you were trying to build a perfect 80s classroom from Goodwill today, you could because they even have an old overhead projector. Well, I came back to the bins for another round and I found this beautiful old silver tone radio. And that right there just breaks my heart. I would have snatched this up in a heartbeat if it wasn't completely busted because that is a just a gorgeous radio. That one, that one hurts me in my soul, y'all. Damn shame. Well, my second trip to the bins in three days and I found another slightly older computer. It's a Windows 7 rig. Should I even bother to see if they'll sell it to me? Because they would not sell the last one. I haven't been to the cotton shed in a while, but they've got like a whole new display with some game, some of which I wouldn't mind having, including some really strange Rubik's variations I've never seen before, except the pyramid. I actually had that at one point. Man, the temptation is real, but unfortunately so is my broke acidness. Dang, and they're getting after it on the vintage action figure front. Oh, Chuck Norris and the Karate Commandos. I remember I used to have some of those as a kid. I see a Prince Adam back there with his, uh, I don't know if that's an original vest and belt. I see Fisto. Fisto was actually one of my very first Masters of the Universe figures back in the day, so I definitely have some great memories attached to that. Oh my, a whole bunch of video games I've never seen in this flea market before. I... Yeah, I'm stoked, y'all. I'll let you know if I get anything, but yes, sir. Give me a moment to look through this. Well, surprisingly, I'm not finding anything that's just jumping out at me, but I think every whoever owns the game booth owns all the movies, too, because they alphabetize. And I cannot tell you how rare that is to find in a flea market, and that just it speaks to my soul on so many levels. I want to hug this person. So I hopped on over to another flea market, and let's see what they have in terms of games, because I just ran across some. Um, yeah, kind of like the other one, I don't... Oh. Well, I didn't wake up this morning saying to myself, Self, you know what your life wouldn't be complete without? A light up applause sign. But what did I end up with today? A light up applause sign. This is going in my office. I think any time the wife is getting a little pissy with me, I may like flicker it, point to it, hope something good comes of it. She'll probably just throw something at me. Of course, I didn't get to test it in the store, so because I'm one of those weirdos that keeps a power inverter in his car. I can test it here. And it works. That big old ancient filament bulb that's in there still works. I am uh, I'm thrilled. Thrilled, y'all. I cannot wait to get this on a shelf above my desk at the office. What is up, good people? Despite the way this video has come across where it looks like I really didn't come away with much of anything, do you really think I go a full week of hunting and not come away with anything? I mean, it's not unprecedented, but it's highly unusual. And that's not the case. Um, the great thing about being a game and tech collector uh, is that I'm also 
a movie collector. Like, I'm just a big physical media collector in general. And uh, that means that I seldom, if ever, come away with nothing. Uh, now, this week I did mostly come away with movies, but I did get some games. And uh, they're games I'm excited about and some that I got pretty good deals on. So I'll go ahead and start with that. First, got the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I haven't played Mass Effect in years, so I'm excited about going back and revisiting Captain Shepard and the crew. I picked up Road Rage. Uh, I can't really speak to it much. I, I hope it's kind of like the old one back on the Genesis back in the day, only more elaborate. We'll see. And I got Dolmen for Xbox Series X. And Risk of Rain 2 for PlayStation 4. And then this one is one that I didn't even realize existed until I saw it in a Facebook post. But it's NASCAR Unleashed. Now, I'm not a big NASCAR guy, but they said it's uh, more of an arcade-type racer. So for that reason, I picked it up. And it was funny, like two days after I first heard of it, it showed up on the shelf of the local game exchange. So I was like, it was meant to be. So I took it with me. Now, in addition to normal video games, I'm a huge pinball nerd absolutely love my personal favorite of all time is theater of magic if you haven't played it uh, i highly recommend but i found this one at goodwill called flipnik ultimate pinball and i'd never heard of it and i've watched some previews of it on youtube and it looks trippy as hell it's not like just a straight top down looking at a table this is a the ball's kind of going all over the place it's in 3d I haven't played it yet. I need to dig out my PlayStation 2 and uh, fire it up, but uh, I don't have a lot of time, a lot of free time, you know, between job and the kids and, and spending time with my wife. Uh, gaming's not, as much as I love it, not high on my list of priorities, but I will get around to it. Now, the rest of my run this week has been pretty much movies. Picked up the complete Firefly series on Blu-ray, $3. Now, I got great deals on all these. Superman vs. the Elite, $3. Pretty much all of these were $3 with the exception of a couple. Paul, now this is another one, man. Sometimes I kind of believe in manifesting things because I hadn't even thought about this movie in a long time. And then I started talking with some buddies at work about it. Found it like two or three days later on a shelf. Same story, I'm a huge fan of The Outer Limits, especially the early 2000s series, but Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, things like that, I'm absolutely just in love with. And I had recently gotten the complete Outer Limits series from the 1980s, or not the 1980s, the aforementioned 2000s. I'm thinking of the Twilight 80s edition, that, or Twilight Zone. Y'all, I can't talk tonight. It's been a long day, but anyway. I got the complete first volume of the 60s Outer Limits, and I'm stoked for this because it's just kind of, kind of my thing. Then I picked up The Clone Wars Season 3 Complete with this kick-ass cardboard sleeve, high gloss. I need to get the other two. I haven't watched any of them, and as much as I love Star Wars, I know that's kind of unforgivable. Then I grabbed... Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. I forget which volume this is, but these are always entertaining. And then I grabbed on DVD, also with a high gloss cardboard sleeve, Justice League War. Um, and now I've seen all these, and I gotta say, the thing about DC animated movies, they're freaking amazing. Um, if you haven't watched them, and like especially if you've watched some of the uh, DC live action movies, and that puts you off DC. I really strongly suggest that you give the animated universe a shot because some of these movies are just as phenomenal as any of the live action movies that Marvel puts out, in my opinion. Um, if you have to start with one, Justice League War is not bad, but I would recommend Flashpoint Paradox. Oh, like I could watch that a million times and never get tired of it. And then the last thing I picked up this week, 
Unfortunately, it wasn't the best deal I ever got, but I picked up Tales from the Dark Side on DVD, the complete series. When I was a little kid, I would stay up late on Friday and Saturday nights, and this show would usually run along, along in a block with Monsters and uh, what else, Friday the 13th, the TV series, but the theme music to this scared the ever-living hell out of me. Like, it was just so, so creepy. And especially when you're a little kid and you're watching this late at night and you're not supposed to because you're a little kid, but your parents are asleep and you're kind of quiet enough to get away with it. Yeah, it's kind of traumatic. But looking back on it now, I absolutely love the series and I'm very excited about going back and revisiting it. Um, I thought it was on Amazon Prime Video at one point. I'll have to check to see if it still is. Um, but that's what I got this week. I also got uh, some tech things like the face cam or Elgato face cam that uh, I'm filming this on. Usually I use my phone uh, because I haven't anything better, but now I do. Also picked up an Elgato green screen, which I just figured out I can't use in the space behind me because it's too wide. So I'm going to have to uh, redo this office a little bit to make room to use it. Um, then after I make room, i got to figure out how to use it. I'm new to this whole thing, as I've said before, and uh, I was just trying an OBS Studio, which I've also never used before. Like, this whole new video production thing is, man, I couldn't be any more green. But there was a time when I was green at pretty much everything that I'm pretty handy at now, like Photoshop. So if I can learn that, I can learn OBS. Um, but anyway, man, y'all, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for hanging with me, taking some time out of your day to uh, listen to me just, you know, blather on. And I, I do this every video, and I'm going to keep doing it. Please, please like and hit subscribe and hit that bell notification. Uh, I, again, I try to post at least once or twice a week. I'm getting more now into the uh, YouTube shorts, too, because apparently that's a thing. Uh, I've been up in my TikTok game as well, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, man, y'all, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Have a great one.